All right, so welcome back again, you filthy exiles. And we have patch notes, which I've done a video on, and you'll be able to see that in the uh, the videos that I've just uploaded. Um, but I thought I would add another four builds to really good builds that you could play for this league. Um, two of these will be really good starter builds. Uh, one will be a pretty easy build to get going and will actually be significantly buffed in this uh in, in this league uh simply because the brain rattler is way better than what it was last league when this was tested and uh the last one is just something that i really want to play and uh i think it's going to be cool it may not necessarily be a starter build uh per se but it's also going to be a very strong build irrespective of that and didn't get hit with the uh the nerf hammer um anyway let's get into it and uh and have a look at this Okay, so the first build that we're going to look at here is SRO's Lacerate Gladiator. Now, this uses a shitload of Impale, a shitload of Bleed, and the Gladiator nodes, which essentially have ex enemy explosions on Bleed. Now, this is actually going to be the uh, the build starter that I'm going to use for this league, and this all these starter builds will be in the description below. But I've managed to tweak his tree a little bit to get it up to a uh, leech rate using Vale Leech of about 3200 uh, leech life per second, which is absolutely nuts. As you can see from the gameplay uh, on the screen, it is phenomenal. Now, the dual hand nerf uh, does come into effect with this one, and that, that only is going to decrease your physical damage uh, a buff using dual wield with... Um, yeah dual wield by 20 percent um now there's going to be ways to get around that easily enough um this one oddly enough uses a particular axe uh which essentially gives you the ability to negate mana but it's actually pretty much built in a way that you can craft rare gear or essence uh, oh sorry influence gear and uh, you, you don't even need to use uniques essentially to get this build working um that's actually one of the beauties of this build. Uh, what I've actually found with this build is it's pretty much perfectly equipped for solo self-found uh, leagues as well. So anyway, this one will be in the descriptions, but definitely going to be the build uh, starter that I use myself this league. And that's why I've put it number number one on this, uh, this new list. Okay, so the second build that we're going to look at in this, uh, in this uh, build guide listing is K's Slave Driver Spectral Summoner. Now, obviously, minion builds are always a safe, tried and true method of gameplay. What you can see here is a very, very powerful and, a, quite frankly, a very good clear speed build. Um, now, in particular, looking at the POB, it's quite tanky. It also gets the slave drivers up to approximately uh, 3 million DPS uh, slave driver from what I've clocked in the POB. It's somewhere between 2.3 to 3 million each. As you can see, they're, uh, they're obviously using things like Spell Echo. Now, that's not including Awaken gems in the POB. Obviously, a Awaken Spell Echo would make these even crazier. And you can get slave, dri slave drivers from, I believe, Act 5 in the control blocks, which is quite easy. Now, some of the other really good facts about this build, uh, according to Kay's build guide, which will be in the description below, it's actually... There's a few ways that this can be played. It can be integrated with spiders. You can use zombies if you choose to use zombies. There's animate guardian options and all sorts of different weird and wonderful things that she's fleshed out for you in the build guide. Um, this was actually one of the builds that I was going to consider playing, uh, if not the Lacerate Gladiator. Um, and I will probably play this on console because minion builds like this are absolutely fantastic for controller-based builds as well. So those people looking for PS4 builds, this is one that you should definitely have on your list or even Xbox builds or whatnot. Um, but yeah, the link will be below in the description. And, uh, and then, yeah, as it's a minion build, I'll actually be keen to answer any questions about minion builds too. Um, and I've had a look at the POB and it's quite well fleshed out and uh, can be played as a solo self-found build as well, which is even better. So the next build that I'm going to feature here is actually a fast AF build or fast as fuck build. And notoriously, his builds are fucking mental. Now, this one is a bit of a build test using the Assassin and the Brain Rattler. Now, one of the best parts or best things about this build in particular is it's hyper fast, it's hyper high crit, and the Brain Rattler has been 
modified in the patch to be absolutely fuck off levels of damage. So this build has probably went from a 5 out of 10 or a 7 out of 10 to more of a 12 out of 10 going forwards. Now obviously there will be a bit more time taken as a starter build. Cyclone's quite powerful but this build has a few other caveats such as it uses an impulses which is not necessarily going to be available straight away and that's so you can proc the explosion of enemies uh, into electric damage. Now, uh, from, a crit percent, uh, from a crit perspective, using the Assassin it couldn't be a better combination to use here, but potentially there's a little bit of headway to use the Berserker or something of the likes, as long as you can get the lightning damage. Now, yeah, essentially, I can't really say anything else. The footage does its own, it does, does justice for itself. It's incredibly powerful. Now, getting a Brain Rattler, that's not rocket science either. Brain Rattlers will normally drop from uh, T16 Minotaurs. So, even the item that the build is sort of relegated around um, is not very difficult to get. Now, whether or not that there's going to be an impact on how easy it is to get a Brain Rattler in this next league and, w and whether or not there'll be a significant cost is going to be another question. But if you're just farming T16 uh, Guardian maps, then you shouldn't have too many issues. Uh, usually during the league, those maps get up to, but potentially this league, there'll be 40 to 60 chaos um, within the first couple of weeks of the league. And even up until then, you'll be able to run this with a high crit cyclone spec anyway. So you'll be able to easily reach 1 million plus DPS uh, pretty early in the league, irrespective of that. So this, I would definitely suggest as a build, as as not necessarily it can be played as definitely a build starter or a starter build uh, on the premise of it's using a, a crit base um, cyclone build but uh, definitely this one will be once you start maxing minning and maxing this build out this bailout build will be incredibly powerful um, by the time you you get to the uh, the true end game stage Okay, so this last one is also from uh, Fast AF, and it's actually, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the best starter build, um, but it definitely can be played as a sort of starter build. There would be a little bit of balancing to get around how the tree works, not to mention this one requires cluster jewels, so this one's not for the faint-hearted unless you've got the, uh, the time and effort to really burn up on this one. But um, essentially, this is a Righteous Fire build on absolute freaking crack. And as you can see, it completely eviscerates enemies. And the reason for that is a lot of these uh, cluster jewels, which quite frankly, using Wrapped in, frame, uh, wrapped in Flame and uh, Burning Bright is incredible. Now, these cluster jewels aren't necessarily very expensive either, which is what makes them so good. Now, that might be a little different in the next league. I'm not entirely sure how cluster jewels are going to work. Now, they have said that in the patch notes, there's going to be an increased drop rate, drop rate and a 5% chance of uh, going into a zone with a delirium mirror. And apparently, there's an increased drop chance of those cluster jewels dropping. So I don't feel like this build is going to be unrealistic. Now, I know there will be people in the comments that will slay me and say, Jorgen, this is not really... Uh, starter starter build well this build can be played as a starter if you know how to balance a righteous fire build unfortunately righteous fire can be a bit of a fickle pain in the ass but um, for the right person this build is is definitely a fantastic starter build and as an end game build as you can see just absolutely destroys enemies I believe the dot damage that he's got in the uh, in the POB that I'm looking at right now is 3.2 million dot, and that's based off the tricks, trickster ascendancy. Not to mention having a um, having an ES pool of around 10,000 ES, and uh, yeah, you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, it's highly highly tankable, highly survivable um, in most circumstances, and yeah, is just going to be a really really fast as fuck build. Okay, so that pretty much sums up my second lot of builds. Now, obviously the last build is not necessarily the easiest to do as a league starter. I'm aware of that, so uh, I know people will slay me in the comments for that, but hey, fuck. Other suggestions that I can make for build uh, starters are there's a lot of good uh, gladiator bleed bow builds that you can play. They use things like drill neck and whatnot. Um, another few ideas for anyone who's really stuck is you can look into uh, Toxic Rain Miners. Um, they tend to be really good. Now, the thing that I'll say about the new builds is while it might be great uh, to want to play slam builds, 
I had a bit of a play in standard league with it, and they take a fair. They used to take a fair bit of tweaking to get some good damage out of them. And you know, using things like abysses and things like that isn't efficient. Not to mention far out. Uh, not to mention really um, is is really hard to balance around using abysses in a lot of builds because you go from really tanky to really easy to die you might dish out the damage but it isn't necessarily workable now obviously in the new league there's going to be a lot of um, changes around how we build these slam builds and these one hit builds i'm assuming people are going to come up with some crazy ass builds that can literally one hit shaper off the new slam gems um, and the new slam um, support gems and uh, i guess the the new keystones in the tree and whatnot and war cries and it's probably doable, um, but you know, we'll see how we go. The only other build that I would suggest, which looks really cool because AI is being buffed up in the patch notes as well for totems, is Ancestral Warchief. And from memory, Lifting Nerdbro had a really good um, Ancestral Warchief build as well. Um, that's worth looking into. Anyway, um, if this helps you and gives you some ideas uh, on what to play in the next three days, uh, I release this video after the patch notes thank you for everyone having a crack at me for releasing a video before the patch notes but unfortunately the patch notes didn't really change the validity of the builds that i put in that first guide so whatever anyway um yeah until next time uh like and sub if this video helps you out um if you think it's shit um and you hate my last build starter build idea then uh dislike it um otherwise until next time um I'll see you guys in three days online and uh, bye.